is going on guys grave here today i'd like to talk about what exactly zos is going to do going forward with old gen's consoles and the elder scrolls online a lot of people have been wondering over the years when some of these ui improvements will come to the game when some of the things they can do to the game will be done but a lot of times we hear zos's response uh, rich no matter kind of whoever's talking about exactly developer wise what's going to be done is that it takes them longer to do it because of old gen consoles holding them back or they cannot do it because of old gen consoles one of the biggest topics that's been around for a really long time is more housing space and they say the old gen consoles don't have enough memory to be able to support more slots in the home for more furniture because it just will not allow it to run the game there's also been conversations about how new zones new classes all that kind of stuff uh, revolves around you know being able to get this to work on old gen consoles uh, and now that a lot of people have new gen consoles, they've been out for a while, they're a lot more accessible or a lot easier to get, I guess. Uh, you can find them places. It's not like it was when they first came out and they were having to buy them from a scalper. Or if you were like myself, I wasn't going to pay those prices, so I waited about a year before I got the Xbox Series S or my PS5 when I actually could find them at retail prices. I think a lot more people have the option to get them now. And considering uh, ESO has been out for a good long while here on console and, of course, on PC, um, I think going forward, Zoss at some point is going to have to make that decision of, look, um, you know, you can get the games upgrade for free on a new gen console. Of course, if you play on PC, that's fine there, but uh, there's nothing really going to change on the PC end. But for console, we're going to stop supporting the old gen console and go forward with just supporting PC and new gen consoles. That way we can do more things that we want to do in game. I think there's a lot of quality of life changes, a lot of things they can do going back to the old zones and, you know, fixing things and adding new things into the old zones. Kind of like they've been talking about for a while now. They've been wanting to uh, really go back and start working on the old zones and start fixing things and adding things in because they feel like there's so much new stuff being added to the game. They need to go back and look at the base game or the game as a whole and just start fixing things and adding stuff here and there to the older parts of the game to make it more enjoyable for everyone, whether you're a new player or a veteran player. And I think the option of only having to do that for old gen uh, consoles and new gen consoles have kind of hindered those ideas. Uh, so now if you only have the option to, or if you get rid of that option of the old gen consoles and really just start focusing on making these updates, knowing that the new gen consoles will run it, knowing that PC is going to be able to run it easily, I think that would be a big plus for the game. I'm not sure exactly what they will do. And I know a lot of people may not like that idea that they're going to completely get rid of it on old gen consoles. But at the same time, the game has been out for a long time on console. Uh, like I said, it came out a year after it did on PC. So that's some really old hardware there that are running. I mean, look at the PS4. It's what over right at 10 years old, a little bit older now. Um, Running even any game on a PC that it's that old is a struggle on the computer itself. So we know it's going to get more and more difficult for the consoles to run the game, but it's also going to get more and more difficult for the developers to create new content or improve the game overall when they're trying to run it on some hardware that is that old. So I do expect at some point, I'm not sure if it's going to be this year, maybe Zoss will talk about it in quarter three. I want to start doing improvements saying, you know, at this point, it's going to be the cutoff date for us supporting the game on old gen. We're just going to go forward supporting the game on new gen and PC. That may be what they do and still allow some players, you know, that don't have new consoles yet still to be able to access the game, but maybe not be able to access the new updates uh, until they get a new gen console. I'm not sure exactly how they will do it, but I think overall it would be a big improvement. I know it's not going to be the most popular idea, and I think it would have been very uh, unpopular if they would have decided, decided to do that as soon as new gen came out considering they were so hard to get but now that there is more access to new gen consoles there's more access to um you know being able to build your own pc for a reasonable price or buy pre-built pcs for reasonable prices i think zosh really does need to look at uh, the game overall talk about what exactly they're wanting to do going forward how they're wanting to improve the game and keep players wanting to go to these older zones and giving the gain more longevity for new players and returning players or you know people that's played the entire time and in doing that figure out a way to you know really kind of stop doing stuff for old gen consoles stop doing the updates and just focus on what they can do to improve the game and then just go forward making those updates for new gen and of course for pc 
Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you would like to see improved in the game and let me know what you think about, of course, you know, dropping support for old gen consoles and just going forward with the new gen and PC. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.